Oh, who's this motherfucker? The person of don't, 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 whatever it's it is. What's up, everybody? Back with another one. And we're here about to watch a episode of Game of Thrones. Why not? You know what I'm saying? And uh, still, nothing, nothing, nothing going on. Just you're working like a uh, normal person. Hopefully, uh, y'all doing good out there. Maybe I should start watching the news. Maybe I should start doing that. I don't know. I don't like watching the news because every time I watch the news, it's always some bullshit. But yeah, let me shout out some people. Shout outs to you thought, Tim, Fred, Jay, Lisa, Anna. You already know. Let's get into this Game of Thrones season five, episode two. Got Arya. Don't be afraid. That's a big ass Now's statue. I'm not afraid. Yeah, you were. Man, she's trying to play it off like she wasn't afraid. You know damn well she was afraid. She was... she was afraid. She was afraid. Change it up, you know. Ooh, watermelon. Let me get one. That's sourdough bread. Oh no. House of black and white. This is where you'll find the man you seek. Yeah, I leave you. No, he, she leaves you. Thank you for bringing me. Any man of Bravos would have done the same. Balamo bullies. Balata hires. I don't know what she's just saying. <laughs> Who is it? Gotta do the secret knock. What up, brother? How you doing? Palamogules. Um. Jack and Hagar gave me this. No one here by that name. Failed. Why would I want somebody with your history of failure guarding Lady Sansa? Why should you have any say in her affairs? Because I am her uncle. I married her Aunt Lysa shortly before my beloved's untimely death. We're family now, and you are an outsider. Forgive me, Lady Brienne, but experience has made me wary of outsiders. Lady Sansa, if we can have a word alone... No. Please, my lady, if I could explain... I saw you at Joffrey's wedding, bowing to the king. Neither of us wanted to be there. That's true. I don't have a choice. And sometimes we do. You should leave. We don't want our new friend wandering the countryside alone. The roads in these parts aren't safe. Why don't you stay? Well, this is awkward. Well. I asked you to say, so what is Get out. Ooh Get out of there. Shh. 
shit, that must be crazy to be on horses and shit like that. Oh, that was some fucked up CGI on his face. <laughs> Definitely not him on that damn horse. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, smart little lady. Well, she ain't little. This motherfucker tall as hell. A good one. Come on. Damn it, Padrick. No, 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 stop. Damn. <laughs> Guess that means you're unarmed. Oh. Oh. Damn, you strong as hell. Well, she do got Valerian st uh, um, steel, I think. Is that a sword made out of that um, shit? Yes, my lady. You can stand now. Yes, my lady. And look, you got a horse. Signs of Stark. Wary of strangers as you should be. I saw her riding on the east road with Littlefinger. We'll follow them. My lady, if both Stark girls refused your service, maybe you're released from your vow. I swore to their mother I would protect those girls. But if they don't want your protection... Do you think she's safe with Littlefinger? No. No, my lady. Get your horse. Summons from the Queen. There are only two like it in the world. The one I'm wearing, the one I gave to Marcella. It's a threat. Of course it's a threat. Our daughter's alone in dawn, surrounded by people who hate our family. It's a threat. No note? They blame us for the death of Oberyn and his sister, and every other tragedy that's befallen their cursed country. I will burn their cities to the ground if they touch her! Softer. What? That's not loud. Our daughter's in danger, and you're worried I'm speaking too loudly. Don't blow the car. No, she's out. Then don't call her your daughter. You've never been a father to her. Damn! If my children, they'd be stoned in the streets. And what was your caution brought? Our eldest child murdered at his own wedding. Our only daughter shipped off to dawn. Our baby boy is set to marry that smirking whore from Highgarden. Yeah. What you want to do, bruh? You've never made anything better. I'm going to Dawn. And I'm bringing our daughter home. You can't just ask Prince Duran to give her back. She's promised to his son. I'm not going to ask him anything. Damn, okay. With an army, it's an act of war. No army. Do you know where they're keeping her? Oberyn mentioned the war's gardens. I'll find her. Is there anything else, Your Grace? You're going to Dawn. A one-handed man. Alone. 
Hey, don't doubt the man. Well, who you going to bring? No sunflowers. Him. This is a very nice definition. Going to get him killed. Music. I adore music, but no flutes. I hate flutes. We can have a harp if you like, but no flutes. Then there's the food. Food is the most important. And you can't skip for shit. Pigeon pies. That's Come on. In the capital, don't they? Don't they? Don't who? People eat pigeon pie in the capital. Pigeon pie. They certainly do. Is it made out of real pigeon, or it just it's just one of those foods that has a weird name and it just doesn't have what it is? End up settling down in a place like this. You won't. Pardon? We won't get to live at Stokeworth. When mother dies, my sister gets the castle because she's older. She hates me. She calls me mean names, and sometimes, even still, she pulls my hair when mother's not looking. You know what I think? I think you're a good person. Uh-huh. Okay. That is a mean person. She is. I've been all over the world, and if there's one thing I've learned, it's that meanness comes around. People like your sister, they always get what's coming to them, eventually. Eventually. Why, you're another. Who's that? Jamie fucking Lannister. Jamie fucking Lannister. <laughs> the run of the Blackwater. I was very sorry to hear about your father. Thank you. This is my betrothed, Lollis. A pleasure. Run along, love. Beautiful young bride you've chosen. When were you planning on getting married? Just get on with it. On with what? What you're here for. There's no way this little visit could possibly mean anything good for me. It's very good for you. What to say? Read it all out. We'll be marrying Sir Willis Brack. Hmm. We made a deal, your sister and I. I would have advised against that. How is this good for me? Because you're going to come with me and help me with something important. And when we return, I'm going to give you a much better girl and a much better castle. Return. <laughs> as far south as south goes. Well, who's this motherfucker? The person of Dawn, 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 whatever it is. My future queen. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh, okay. You are my queen. You are the queen of. I said queen, not Dawn. Prince does not wish to be disturbed. Remove yourself from my path, or I'll take that long axe and I'll shove Captain. it. Captain, let her pass. You've been through a lot, man. Your brother was murdered, and you sit here in the water gardens, staring at the sky and doing nothing. Oberyn was slain during a trial by combat by law. That is no murder. You're. Brother. You don't have to remind me. He was my brother long before he was anything to you. Right. What will you do about his death? I will bury him. I will mourn for him. And then? You would have me go to war. The whole country would have you go to war. Then we are lucky the whole country does not decide. Right. Right. Thanks, sir, with me. They have the love of their people. They will avenge their father while you sit here in your chair doing nothing. Oberyn is dead. Because he... Because he wanted to play. Eating our food, breathing our... Don't blame... Don't want to... No, don't blame the mountain for that shit. Kill. Let me have her. Let me send her to Cersei. One finger at a time. The fuck? I love my brother. 
And you made him very happy. For that, you will always have a place in my heart. But we do not mutilate little girls for vengeance. Not here. Not while I rule. And how long will that be? Fuck, uh, boy. Boy, you better be careful. The Unsullied are too conspicuous. Anyone can see you coming from a mile off. Of course you haven't found any sons of the harpies. You haven't, have you? Yeah. My second sons, on the other hand, they drink, or fight in the streets. They blend in. They overhear things in taverns. Follow people from the taverns to nice, quiet alleys. Break a few fingers, overhear a few more things. Before you know it, with sycophants, sending your own brother away so he won't My be present. My brother has left the capital to lead a sensitive diplomatic mission. What mission? That is not with concern as master of war. I do not recognize your authority to dictate what is and is not my concern. You are the Queen Mother. Nothing more. Shit. You would abandon your king in his time of need. If he wants to send for me, I will be waiting for him. At Casterly Rock. Come on. You know this one. Looks like an animal. I thought that was an S. S. It's an S. Right. Very good. Oh, okay. It is an S. Did you know that the youngest Lord Commander in history, Osric Stark, was elected at the age of 10? 10? Shit. You'll learn, I promise. I taught Sir Davos and all people are terrible at learning new things. Well, you're a wonderful teacher. Very patient. I only said that the more time that you spend practicing, the faster you'll be able to read. That's all right. We're doing just fine. I'm sure you and Ostrich Stark have a lot to talk about. How old were you when you learned how to read? To think. Who taught you? Your mother? No. Old Maester Crescent did. I had a lot of time to practice. My mother kept me in. If you was 10 years old and had to... What do you call it in the south? Man, the army. What happened to your... That's crazy as hell. What do you call it north of the wall? I don't know. But two of my sisters had it. They both died. How did they kill you? I don't remember. I was a baby. A lot of people came and tried, I think. Whatever they did, it went away. What happened to your sisters? My father made them move out of the keep into the hut outside. None of us were allowed to go near them, but we heard them, especially at night. They started to sound not like themselves. Did you ever see them? Only once at the end. They were covered with it. Covered with what? Their faces, their arms. They acted like animals. My father had to drag them out to the woods on a rope. What did he do with them in the woods? What? Mother. Leave us. Your Grace. You need to stay away from that girl. Why? She's a wildling. Her name's Gilly. She's nice. I'm teaching her how to read. She's a wildling. Your father defeated her people. He executed their king for treason. They could strike at him by striking at you. Gilly wouldn't do that. You have no idea what people will do. That's what my mom said all the time. No. Yeah, you read a lot of books and you, you ain't found that out yet. That order from being carried out. You showed mercy to Mansreda. King's word is law. 
Perhaps you should ask Sir Davos how much mercy I show to lawbreakers. Show too much kindness, people won't fear you. If they don't fear you, they don't follow you. With respect, Your Grace, the free folk will never follow you, no matter what you do. You're the man who burned their king alive. Who then? You? No. Who? Only one of their own. Do you know this wretched girl? Lyanna Mormont. The Lord Commander's niece. Lady of Bear Island. And a child of ten. I asked her to commit her house to my cause. That's her response. Bear Island knows no king but the king in the north, whose name is Stark. Hmm. Yeah. Apologize, Your Grace. Northerners can be a bit like the free folk. Loyal to their own. Oh, no. My brother Robert went on often and loudly about how difficult it was to control them. Even with your father's help. Tonight, the Night's Watch elects a new Lord Commander. Sir Alice of Thorne is going to win. Most likely. Unpleasant man. He thinks you're a traitor. What's your life going to be like here at the Wall with Thorne in command? Unpleasant, I expect. Your bravery made him look weak. He'll punish you for it. I don't punish men for bravery. I reward them. I don't doubt it, Your Grace. But <laughs> I was about to say, but he's a brother of the name. Honor my sword. I don't know what I have left to give you. You can give me the North. I can't. Even if I wanted to, I'm a bastard. The snow. Kneel before me. Lay your sword at my feet. Pledge me your service and you'll rise again as John Stark, Lord of Winterfell. Ooh. I'll make you a Stark with the stroke of a pen. It's the first thing I ever remember wanting. Damn. I daydream that my father would ask the king. And just like that, I would never be the bastard of Winterfell again. Oh, you deserve this. You do. I, I couldn't be happier for you. I'm going to refuse him. But you'd be Lord of Winterfell. I swore a vow to the Night's Watch. If I don't take my own words seriously, what sort of Lord of Winterfell would I be? That's true. <laughs> Damn, John. You'd think we were serving venison stew. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone wish to speak? Or well, candidates, before we cast our tokens, for the 998th Lord Commander of the Night's Watch. Sir Alistair Thorne is not just a knight, he's a man of true nobility. He was acting commander when the war came under attack and led us to victory against the wildlings. He's a veteran of a hundred battles and has been a defender of the watch and the wall almost all of his life. He's the only true choice. Come on, speak up. Someone speak up for John. I joined the watch as a boy and has served loyally longer than any other ranger. Through ten winters he served. As commander of the Shadow Tower, he kept the wildlings away. We could do no better. If there is no one else, we will begin the voting. Come on, speak. Speak. The square tokens for Sir Dennis Marister. Each Mr. Raymond. New... Here we go. Samuel Tarley, go on. Do it. Sam the Slayer. <laughs> Another wildling lover, just like his friend Jon Snow. How's your lady love, Slayer? <laughs> her name is Gilly. Brother Slint knows her quite well. They cowered together in the larder during the battle for the wall. <laughs> Lies! A wildling girl, a baby, <laughs> and Lord Jan. Yep. And after the battle was over, in a puddle of his own making. Yep. Yep, yep. <laughs> Whilst Lord Janus was hiding with the women and children, Jon Snow was leading. Yeah, he was. Fought bravely, it is true. 
And when he was wounded, it was John who saved us. He took charge of the wall's defense. He killed the Magna of the Thames. He went north to deal with Mans Rede. No one who almost certainly meant his own death. <laughs> Before that, he led the mission to avenge Lord Commander Mormon. Yeah, yeah. Come on, speak up. Chose John to be his steward. He saw something in John, and now we've all seen it too. He may be young, but he's the commander we turned to when the night was darkest. There you go, John. I uh, can't argue with any of that. But who does Jon Snow want to command? Night's Watch? Or the Wildlings? Everyone knows he loved a wildling girl. He spoke with Mance Raider many times. What would have happened in that tent between those two old friends if Stannis' army hadn't come along? We all saw him. Put the king beyond the wall out of his misery. Do you want to choose a man who has fought the wildlings all his life? Or a man who makes love to them? Come on, John. Stand up. It is time. Damn. Well, um, John, you know you're going to win, right? Everybody know John gonna win. to be a tie master. It's a tie. Told you, Snow. He mad at a motherfucker. Told you. Told you, John. Getting good with needle. I'd have just kept walking. What have you got there? Pigeon. <laughs> I said. Turn around and go. Turn around and go. That's a nice little sword. <laughs> worth a hundred pigeons, a sword like that. Nothing's worth anything to dead men. Come on. Quickly, go. Go. Go on. Go. Oh, man. Who are you? Why were they scared of you? You lost this. Faceless man. You said there was no Jack and Hagar here. There isn't. A man is not Jack and Hagar. Well, who are you then? No one. And that is who we Listen. Godlo. Ingelere. So you're going to give him a fair trial? Hey, 
Everybody wants mercy. So what you going to do? Kill him in front of everybody that wants mercy? Can't even look at him when it happens, though. What are you going to do, Khaleesi? She gonna show mercy. Oh, hell no. Yeah, see? Shit. That's crazy as hell. Last time God outside your daughter tonight, your grace. We all got tonight. Believe me. Shit. Where's your third dragon? That motherfucker haven't shown his face in a long ass time. He has to show up some at some point, right? Somebody's trying to kill you, bruh. Better be careful. Just when I talked about it. Just when I talked to let's see. Dragon. Bite your hand off. Fly away then. Okay. Well, damn. Oh, shit. What? Oh, kind of fucked up, man. Right? See? <laughs> Dragon comes in just for a little bit and now it flies away. Tyrion is on his way to Cersei, or not Cersei, uh, Lysi, wait until he gets there. He's going to be like, damn, everybody hates this woman. What the fuck am I doing here? Jon Snow could have been a Stark, but now he is commander, chief of the Night's Watch. You already know, his days are kind of numbered because the one dude is jealous. You feel me? And uh, Cersei, we just going to pray for Cersei because she's going through it right now. And uh, I hope y'all liked the reaction. If you did, like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think of this episode. And of course, leave a comment. Tell me what you think of this ep. I just said that. Uh, of course, thanks for watching. This is. <laughs>